have you ever thought something was normal only to realize it wasn't? Or that someone who should seem perfectly friendly was making you feel uncomfortable? If these are things you felt in your childhood or you're still a minor and are currently feeling about an adult in your life, it may be your intuition's way of warning you. Otherwise, if you're simply curious and wanna educate yourself about grooming or worry that someone you know might be going through it, you're in the right place. Grooming is the manipulative process of normalizing sexual and inappropriate behavior between minors and adults. It allows the adult to subtly or overtly assert inappropriate control and power over the child, in which the ultimate goal is abuse. It can happen to anyone, regardless of gender or background. The groomer may be a family member, friend, or professional. It's a chilling reality, but understanding its stages and recognizing its signs is crucial for safeguarding ourselves and our loved ones. With that said, here are seven warning signs of grooming to be on the lookout for, according to experts. A quick note before we continue, accusing someone of grooming holds serious consequences, so it's important to approach these situations with care and consideration. Speaking out against grooming is crucial, but it's also important to acknowledge the nuances in different relationships and contexts. For instance, a close family member may display some of these signs without malicious intent. However, if someone exhibits more than four signs consistently, it's highly probable they are a groomer. Remember to always trust your intuition. Excessive secrecy. Is there an older person in your life that messages or calls you often, but asks you to keep it a secret? Do they call you their friend or maybe more in private, but then act like strangers with you in public? Groomers rely on secrecy to maintain control over their victims and avoid scrutiny from others. They might pressure you into keeping your interactions with them private, using excuses like, our relationship is special and others wouldn't understand, or it's our little secret. Otherwise, they risk exposing their true intentions and manipulative tactics. Unexplained gifts. While receiving gifts or favors from someone can feel nice, be cautious if their gestures come with hidden expectations attached. Groomers may use gifts and favors as a way to create a sense of indebtedness and make it harder for you to say no when they ask for favors. This might also be a tactic from them to gain your trust and get you to lower your guard with them by making you like them more. Special treatment or attention. Ever had a teacher give you special treatment or felt that they were overly interested in you? Be careful not to let it get to your head. Groomers know just how to stroke your ego, making you feel like the most special person in the room. But here's the catch. This special treatment isn't about making you feel good. It's about gaining your trust and dependence so they can control and exploit you. Spending time alone. Beware of adults who insist on spending excessive one-on-one -on -one time with you. Predators often seek opportunities to isolate their targets away from the watchful eyes of others. This could mean insisting on spending time with you away from friends, family, or trusted individuals. For instance, a coach who constantly offers private training sessions outside of regular practice hours might be crossing boundaries into potentially dangerous territory. Allowing things your parents forbid. Say your parents forbid you from going out past midnight or watching graphic movies, but you had an adult friend who'd let you get away with it. They'd probably seem really cool to you, right? But it's actually a major red flag when someone encourages you to engage in activities or behaviors that your parents have expressly forbidden. They do this not only to gain your trust, but also to undermine your parents' authority and coax you into doing more and more dangerous things like smoking, drinking, or having sex. Instead, respectful individuals will honor your family's rules and boundaries rather than encourage you to defy them. Excessive physical touching. Pay attention to how someone respects your personal boundaries and comfort level with physical contact. Are they constantly trying to get in your personal space or touch you without permission? Maybe they pass it off as a friendly hug, an accidental touch, or something like a shoulder massage. No matter how harmless it might seem at first, groomers will always try to escalate these types of behaviors to sexualize your relationship and maybe even use your natural curiosity against you. For example, they might proposition you with things like, do you need someone to teach you how to kiss? Let's practice then. Minimizing others' concerns. If anyone else has ever expressed concern about your relationship with an older friend or relative, a groomer will always try to downplay or dismiss their concerns. They don't know what they're talking about or everyone else is just so judgmental and malicious. 
they'll probably try to convince you that those other people are just overreacting or misunderstanding things between you, or even gaslight you into questioning your own instincts. Maybe you're right, this is wrong. Oh what, so you're on their side now? When did you become so childish and uncool? I thought we were friends. That's grooming. Grooming is a complex and insidious process, but awareness is your first line of defense. And by educating yourself on the common tactics and warning signs, you'll be better able to protect yourself and your loved ones. If something feels off or uncomfortable, don't ignore it. Establish clear boundaries in your relationships, even with adults, and don't hesitate to speak out if you witness grooming behavior or suspect someone is being targeted. Your voice can make a difference in preventing harm. If you found this video valuable, please like and share to spread awareness. Comment your stories and insights down below and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like exploring untold trauma, the dark side of kids TV, and six dark psychology tricks to be aware of. Thanks for watching.